Hey everyone, today I want to talk about a great little 4th edition adventure module that's tucked away in the back of the Dungeon Master's Guide. If you look inside the Dungeon Master's Guide, you'll see that Chapter 11 is for Fallcrest. And Fallcrest is a city within the Nintervale, which is a campaign setting that was created for 4th edition. It's a really nice setting because it is much smaller than a lot of the other campaign settings that are out there. So it allows new players and DMs to get a feel for working in a fantasy world without being overwhelmed with a lot of lore and, and a large area that they would have to cover. So the beginning of this section talks about Fallcrest, which is this city, and you get a really nice map of the town. And you can see that it's labeled with specific locations within that town. And if you flip through, you can get even more detail about each of those locations and who is there and what they do and what a party might find if they were to go to that particular location. For example, the Silver Unicorn Inn, it has a little bit of information about the inn and who runs it and how much it would cost to stay there for the night. So really great information about Fallcrest and just kind of a little sandbox to allow the players to walk around and, and uh, explore a little bit and learn um, how to do some role playing and an exploration. Then you get into a section about the Ninter Vale, which is very similar to what you just saw with Fallcrest, is that you have a map of the location, and then you have some details about these, these areas in the Ninter Vale. So you can look at any one of these and trace it back to a spot on the map where that location is. So if the players want to explore the region a little more, they can go to some of these areas, and then you can put together a small encounter for them or something. And then we get into the actual adventure itself. And it's just your basic dungeon crawl. There's not a lot of complexity here. You see there's a few different hooks that are provided. The bottom line is that there's some kobolds that have been causing some trouble. They've set up shop inside this, this dungeon and they're getting kind of aggressive and attacking some caravans and things like that. And they just need the characters to put a stop to it. It even indicates in the introduction that this particular adventure is really light on plot. And it's more about just getting the characters involved and helping a new DM run a campaign and help new players learn how to play the game without getting terribly complicated. So as is typical for fourth edition, you get a nice map that's an overview of the location you're going to be in. And then you get these wonderful pages that set up each individual encounter. And so area one is the sludge pit, and that's really where you enter the dungeon. You've got some stairs that come down and then there's a pit and it describes the area. You get the monster stat blocks and the map that shows you how to set it up. And then you run through the encounter, including with the tactics of what the other uh, creatures are going to do. Pretty much all of these are just uh, uh, combat encounters. There's nothing terribly complicated. Once they finish that, they will move on to the next one and they go into this room and you can see that there's a lot of other stuff here. This one has a dart trap in it and then some cobalt skirmishers and so you know again you set it up according to the map and then and then play it out based on the information on this page and then you can continue that one continue on same deal a lot of repetitiveness but but again this is for somebody who's learning to run the game if you imagine a dm for the first time you've picked up this book you've looked through it and you want to get your feet wet actually doing it in practice this is a great one to really go through and you see all right i know how to set it up i know how to read all the tactics i have all the stat blocks everything that i need to run this particular encounter is there and i can practice with it and then once i'm done i can advance and i can do it again and just you just get more and more experience experience with running different encounters and having to deal with the tactics and the the features of that particular area and then there's some actually some treasure that they would get at the end of this one and i believe then that's that brings about the end of it is this last one where you actually will face a dragon and who wouldn't love you playing dungeons and dragons and as your first run through of an encounter you actually will get to fight a dragon and then there's just a small wrap up where they get some additional treasure. And with any luck that has encouraged the players to want to do more. And so you get a little bit of a direction of where you could take this now. It even connects to another adventure, the Keep on the Shadowfell. So if you wanted to just continue with those same characters, you could. So it's a really nice little introduction. Again, it's not complicated. It's not going to give you a lot of exploration, not a lot of role playing but it gets you the experience of using the rules and for a new DM with new players, I think it's a really nice little, a nice little mini adventure. And it's interesting that it's just kind of tucked away here in the back of the 
fourth edition dungeon master's guide that it's easily overlooked if you're not paying attention um that you you may not be expecting to find an adventure back here in this book but i think it's really nice let me know what you think and uh, i'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments don't forget to sign up for the newsletter that link is down in the description until next time take care